Well, the Mavericks made it through six innings at Leary Field against the Pittsfield Suns, and then this showed up. Another lightning and rain delay. Probably not going to see the end of this ball game. Pittsfield Suns look as though they're going to take it one to nothing. Here's the highlights. Here's how it happened. Maverick Spotlight starts right now. Just another beautiful night at Leary Field. The kids are having fun. That's a sack race, one of our fan favorites before and during the games. And not a worry in the world about the weather. Timmy Holmes not worried either. Charging up that arm, ready to go to work. And work is exactly what he did. Three scoreless innings to start the game on just one hit as that breaking ball sinks Ryan Alma on the outside corner to get the first out of the fourth. But the next batter, Zach Goldstein, draws a walk the third of the inning and its base is loaded for the Suns, just one out. So that would merit a mound visit from manager Dave Adam. And when the bases are loaded, you expose yourself to this. Luke Reynolds, fly ball to center field. Is it deep enough? Coppinger has a shot. No, the throw is not in time, just off target. Morgan Phillips scores from third. It's a sack fly in the Suns lead, one to nothing. Holmes would answer though, a big K to end the inning. Holmes went five innings, just one run, on two hits, four walks, four Ks. Unfortunately, however, for Holmes, he had to duel Harrison Page of American International College, toting a 1-0 record and just a 1.5 earn run average. And against Don Salcido, he had some trouble. Salcido turns on one, but it's just foul. That ball would be ruled foul by the umpire. That's the only voice that matters. Salcido would get another chance at it as he reaches first safely on this little infield squibbler between third and short. But that's as close as the Mavs would get to tying this game back up. We played five full innings, and then Mother Nature takes over and throws her worst for a second night in a row. Short in contest, and the Mavericks drop one, one to nothing. Here's a look around the rest of the league at the scoreboard, including two games between the Sharks and the Rocks, a doubleheader in Brockton, and the Sharks take both of them by a margin of one run. Sharks having won six of their last seven, they've stormed their way just a half game back from first place, and the North Shore Navigators, who dropped one to the Silver Knights, 4-3. to three. Here's a look at the week ahead for the Mavericks. Silver Knights tonight at 7.05 before they come home for another game against the Raging Tide. And then it's three straight road games, two against the Titans, two and one against the Rocks. And here's a look at tonight's matchup between the Knights and the Mavericks. They match up pretty well on paper. Mavericks getting that comeback win last time they played just two days ago. And the anticipated pitching matchup will be Tim Cashman, 0-1-1 versus Justin Thomas, 0-1-1. Players to watch, Matt Sullivan batting 500 with two runs, five RBI, and a home run. That home run coming against the Mavericks. He'll be dueling Victor Sorrento, who is working on a seven-game hitting streak. Well, folks, that's going to wrap things up on Mavericks Spotlight. Craig Grotto signing off on another episode. Too bad about the rain delay. Mavericks drop one, uh, unfortunately, in six innings, but that's going to do it. Lightning going off in the background. We're getting out of here. We'll see you on Thursday with more video highlights. Craig Grotto signing off.